I wanted Modern Warfare 2 to be a better version of Modern Warfare 2019. Just like take what was great about Modern Warfare 2019, which was most of it, and just kind of fix the things that sucked. And they went the opposite way. They took they took a lot of the things that were good about Modern Warfare 2019 and ruined them. Hello there again, minions. It's Wheezy. Welcome back to my top five Call of Duty games of all time. We are coming in at number four here. Number five was the original Modern Warfare 2. Number four is the new Modern Warfare 2. So we're going to talk about why this is my number four Call of Duty game. I'm going to talk about what's good about it, what's bad about it. Um, one of the things I want to jump into first here is... Let's go ahead and just jump into stats just to kind of see where uh, I'm at on this game. I have In multiplayer, I've put six days, 17 hours, so going on seven days of playtime in here, just under a one win-loss ratio, thanks EOMM, just over a one KD, thanks EOMM. Uh, if you guys seen my other games and other videos um, that I've played in, you see how EOMM affects these things, but anyway, uh, score per minute, total score, 3 million, 310 score per minute. Um, but one of the things I want to jump in before we're just going to jump into a couple of games and play it. Let's jump over and just look at the maps. Because this is one of the things that ends up being a big deciding factor in whether a game is replayable, really a classic good game that you remember fondly. And honestly, the main thing that has kept me from coming back to Modern Warfare 2 recently is the maps. So we just kind of go through here and look at what we've got available. Al Bagra. A lot of these I've talked about before. This map, I kind, I actually sort of enjoy playing it, but it's really unbalanced and broken to one side. Alberon Hatchery is a shit map. It's too big. I'm going to skip over these kind of like gunfight, shootout, smaller maps. Black Gold, Night Vision only, Mandatory Lasers, gross. Uh, Black Side, I don't even know. There might be a couple of new ones. I haven't really played in the new season at all. Hotel is a good one. Crown Raceway is a good one. The kind of launch maps for Modern Warfare 2 are mostly good and then a lot of the dlc maps have just been absolute trash dome is okay it's a remake from an old uh from old call of duty games el Asilo is all right it's almost good except it's too big on either end embassy is a good map farm 18 is a good map expo is way too big and shitty and random comes in our district big random shitty maze uh las almas is pretty good the side buildings are a little trouble lighthouse too big and random and stupid uh santa Sania is decent uh, I enjoy it. I know a lot of people don't like it, but for me, it gives you some good opportunities at tactics. Plays pretty well. Shipment is just always cancer, although it serves its purpose. Shoot House is a decent map. Showdown, not one of the best COD 4 maps they could have brought back. It's alright. Uh, Tarak, Call of Duty 1 map, I think. Just too big, open crap. Museum, should have been a launch map, but because of those issues, they re-released it later uh, as a DLC map. Um, but it is a good map. Uh, I don't. I have not played Waterfront yet, uh, which is the new map. So maybe we'll get on that and see if it's any good. And Zarqua is my favorite map actually in Modern Warfare 2. So just very hit or miss. And like I've talked about recently with Modern Warfare 2, it very much feels like most of the maps that I end up playing are just kind of like, ugh, I don't want to. So yeah, what is what is good about Modern Warfare 2? A lot. I mean, it's got. The modern engine, it's got the modern movement, right? It feels, hey, we're gonna jump into my favorite one here. Um, it plays really well as far as the Call of Duty movement. It's got tax sprint, it's got slide, it's got some things that it didn't need to have. Basically, if you guys have heard me talk about Call of Duty, this is like a worse version of Modern Warfare 2019, <laughs> and Modern Warfare 2019 is better than this. That's kind of where it falls down, is it, is it plays well. They did a lot of things in here that they didn't need to, but it's a good, solid, modern, tactical Call of Duty game, which is what I like about it. Lots of weapons to choose from. The time to kill is a little too fast, but not horrible, not like Vanguard or Cold War terrible. And just overall, uh, a good game. So we're going to... So we're just going to jump in. Mute this motherfucker. And, yeah, talk a little bit about it. So... This, the reason I have been playing this more than Modern Warfare 2019 since it came out is again having the new weapons to unlock. The game itself uh, is pretty solid, right? Because it's built essentially on Modern Warfare 2019. Um, 
They did make a lot of the things that were great about Modern Warfare 2019 worse, but not so much that they really ruined it. And right, and enough that um, I played so much Modern Warfare 2019 because I loved it that. Uh, and I've got all the weapons and stuff unlocked for it. I don't have, like, necessarily all the camos, but basically everything that I really enjoyed doing about Modern Warfare 2019, I've done. So it is fun to go back and play. Um, shit. But it's not necessarily... What? Not necessarily, uh worth coming back to a ton for that. So I basically just haven't been playing Call of Duty much lately because Modern Warfare 2 hasn't been motivating me to come back. And I played the crap out of Modern Warfare 2019. So. One thing that sucks about modern Call of Duty games that you didn't have in old ones, even though people have always... I've seen a lot of people talking about, oh, classic Call of Duty movement. People didn't jump around like fucking morons uh, in Call of Duty a lot before. Uh, that's something that has gone up and been added a lot in the recent games and it's shit they need to fix it they need to make punish people for jumping around and shooting because it's very immersion breaking it's very untactical and it's stupid it gives it gives people who spend way too much time with uh movement in the game basically the ability to cheese other players it's like the modern equivalent of drop shotting um and especially since the people with the most advantage with the movement in Modern Warfare 2 need to have basically aftermarket controllers, unless you're on PC with a keyboard that has 50 buttons, right? The people who are playing, you know, the meta version of this Modern Warfare 2 have controllers with extra paddles and buttons so that you can move and aim and do all that shit while also jumping around like a fucking retard, so... This is where it kind of some of the things about Modern Warfare 2 fall down. Um, as I'm just having a hell of a time getting anything done in this match, but... But again, kind of solid... And again, this is with the time to kill being too fucking fast. Like, look at that. The guy comes around the corner, and I'm just instantly dead. Let's watch how this... Is. See? We did not get to see the same thing. He came around the corner because of the, whatever, quarter second of lag, the connection advantage he got. By the time I got to see him, on his screen, I was already basically dead. That's where, you know, you're never going to completely eliminate, you know, lag in online games. And that's why you have to balance that with time to kill, when the amount of time it takes to kill someone is almost equivalent to the amount of ping that you're going you're gonna to encounter against someone. It just really kind of ruins the experience. Like, you may be dead before the guy... Before you even get to see the guy who's shooting. This has been a really kind of weird, quiet match. Look at this shit. What the- what the jumping Christ! And I still don't know why they added that outnumbered number of attack. What a stupid thing to put into the game. It's not helpful. If anything, it just makes the game more annoying. I think they might have put it in and be like, Oh, maybe you'll feel better about the fact that you died if we point out that you were outnumbered. Like, fuck you. Guy right above me. Another thing with the faster time to kill in this game is that there's only really a, a handful of weapons that really have that super fast time to kill which makes a really which establishes an extremely strong meta which makes it much less fun to just use normal weapons like non fastest time to kill weapons takes a lot of the variety out of the game. What? I didn't even know you could fucking climb into that little fucking cubby hole. <sighs> so something that is a good and a bad thing about Modern Warfare 2 is because they have these disbanding lobbies, they gave you the ability to select multiple game modes and it just kind of shuffles you through those game modes. Um, which on its own is kind of nice to just be able to say, hey, I want to play Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirm, Domination, and if you want to just cycle me through them, then that's cool. 
But the downside of that is it means that you're also being fed into different lobbies every time. You're gonna chase me? And that means inconsistent connections, plus it feeds into the EOMM that they're doing where they're trying to feed you wins and losses to keep you engaged instead of giving you an optical, an, an optimal kind of connection experience and then balancing the teams based on the overall skill level of the people in the lobby instead of just saying, oh, we're gonna try and make everyone in the lobby of a similar skill level. Um, yeah, so that's an upside and a downside for sure. This match, for instance, feels very irritating. <laughs> There's a lot of strangely campy fuckers going in this map. So you're gonna push in or around? Thank you. But yeah, the controls... Still very clean and crisp. Definitely a very modern engine. So the game. This motherfucker's still here? Oh my god. This. You know what? Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. That is something new. I have played this map a lot. And I have never seen someone just sit down in that little cubbyhole. I didn't even know that existed. That's irritating the shit out of me. I didn't even realize you could get up. Why would that be in the map? Why would you be able to do that? Don't go back there, you prick. This game feels like everyone's playing so fucking slow right now. Modern Warfare 2, because of the faster time to kill, also does play quite a bit more campy than Modern Warfare 2019 did. And not in, like, a good tactical way, but in an annoying, like, I'm so afraid of dying quickly that I'll sit and wait for you to walk around a corner so that you can't defend yourself kind of way. Of course, everybody's got to sprint jump every fucking corner to be a super goddamn tryhard. And now there's fucking superheroes from the boys in the game, which I love the boys, but I don't want it in my fucking Call of Duty. I want to play a modern tactical military shooter and not have fucking superheroes and shit in it. Or like Vanguard had fucking Terminators and bullshit. Like, like no thanks, man. All this free-to-play bullshit leaking into everything is so irritating. Again, on my screen, I got those first hits on target right on the head, but of course that fast time to kill, I just got melted. Probably on her screen she had a better connection. The time box perks are a fucking horrible, stupid idea in this game that I can't believe they didn't go back and take out, honestly. That's how bad they are. I realize that would have been a fundamental change to the game, but it was such a bad idea. I'm genuinely surprised. Don't pick yourself up. That they didn't go back and literally remove it, so... For hopefully, modern, next Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3, they'll take that out. I've heard that that's probably what they're going to do. I should not be right here. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> that was not a, a great representative game on that map, but still, three lanes, good movement. I like it. Still Call of Duty people in the game. 
So we'll do uh, one more. Not gonna try and drag this out too long. Oh, managed to go negative. Uh... Oh my god! Shut the fuck up. I fucking hate people. <gasps> no. Wait. What? No. I don't want to play this. I don't want to play this one. No. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Just so many maps that just aren't any good at all. That just aren't fun to play. It makes me not want to play the game at all because it feels like... It feels like half the time or more, although it's probably less. It's probably less than 50% of the maps that I really hate. Like, Albert and Andrew, I just don't want to play it. I just don't want to play so many of these maps. In previous Call of Duty games, there were maps where it was like... Ah, this isn't one of my favorites. If I have the ability to vote to skip it, I would do that. Right? But overall, it's kind of like... Uh, not too bad. It wasn't like, uh, I'd really, like, back out. There are a lot of maps in Modern Warfare 2 where I'm just like, I will, I just don't want to play it at all. To the point where I wish I could filter it out, like in, like you could in old Battlefield games where you just say, look, I only want to play these fucking maps because they're good. <laughs> don't put me in a shit map. Look, again, White House. I don't want to fucking play this map. Uh, the daily challenges and the bonus challenges are a cool thing that Modern Warfare 2019 also had. Good addition to the game. Kind of harkens back to the contracts you could do from Black Ops, the original Black Ops, which was a cool little addition. Gives you that extra little carrot to chase, even if you've unlocked all the weapons and stuff like that. You've got something that pushes you out of your comfort zone every day. Like, hey, use a trophy system, use this particular gun, and, uh, and kind of just try something new. Camo challenges do part of that, like... In older Call of Duty games, it would be like if you're going to unlock specific emblems or titles and stuff like that, you'd kind of have to switch up your playstyle, try something different to do that. So I do like those things that kind of encourage replayability by saying, you know, try something different. Speaking of which, let's, uh... Yeah, let's run one of my Coolio kits. So this is what I was doing for my other and Actually, do I have another... Another thing that's good about this in Modern Warfare 2019 is the ability to kind of medit, uh, edit your classes as you go. Uh, you know what, we'll stick with this one just because it's kind of alright, but yeah. I had a couple of these classes where I built up just to make the gun look cool. A lot of the weapon customization. The extra attachments and stuff like that are cool, even though there's still like a strong meta in that there are certain things you really need to build on your weapon to really make it competitive. So you don't really, you have all this customization you can't really use if you want to have like a, a good competitive weapon, but it does give you some flexibility to build either like a super high mobility gun versus like a longer range, low recoil. So again, good and bad. So this kit, for instance, is not built to be the best AK you can, but I built it specifically to, based on the look of the attachments to look cool and just try and play with it, even though it's suboptimal. Is the game just like putting me in these weird lobbies because I haven't played for like two months? Is it like, dude, you need to hang out with some people who don't like to move around or play much? And look at that insta melt. Let's see. Let's see how what it looked like from her point of view to come around that corner. Ridiculous. Ridiculous time to kill. We got it, bro. Yeah, the modern movement, sliding, diving. That stuff's cool. The hanging shit is completely unnecessary and dumb. Again, I've said this before, but I wanted Modern Warfare 2 to be a better version of Modern Warfare 2019. Just, like, take what was great about Modern Warfare 2019, which was most of it, and just kind of fix the things that sucked. And they went the opposite way. They took... They took a lot of the things that were good about Modern Warfare 2019 and ruined them. And added a bunch of shit that made the game actively worse. You wanna re-peek? What the fuck? That frag did get me? What? Even though I was mounted around that corner? Alright, whatever. 
gonna say mounting is another mechanic that's pretty cool. I wouldn't say it's like a make or break mechanic, but as far as like tactical play, I think mounting is a good addition to the game. One hit kill fucking weapons. So yeah, definitely a solid... Of course another guy comes up the street. Uh, just a really solid game with just a whole lot of really irritating little fucking things. Just like dozens of irritating little fucking things that they just can't fix, won't fix. Being douchebags about. Drill charges. Definitely the best addition to Modern Warfare 2. Prop one of my favorite additions to Call of Duty ever. I love the drill charge. Do not love the one-hit kill weapons. Complained about those pretty much through all of Call of Duty. I mean, the earliest complaint about a one-hit kill weapon, right, is in the original COD 4, the ACOG M40, which would just literally one-hit you anywhere. One of the most broken things in Call of Duty of all time. Never got fixed. And, uh... And it was just like that earliest thing of like, look, this game is supposed to be kind of tactical. And when you give someone the ability to instantly delete you, when connection is such a huge part of the game, it just really feels bullshit. Field upgrades are a cool addition. The ability to have a couple of additional kind of power-ups. What is up with my team right now? This is that shit. Like, I've got an absolutely useless fucking team right now. Because I got that win on the first one, and now I'm with a bunch of retards that can't even fight their way out of a wet paper bag. The enemy has captured two You guys want to capture, I don't know, anything, ever? Is there a guy there? Is he here? Leave me alone with your fucking crossbow, bro. God damn it. <sighs> the one hit kill knife. I was glad after the early Call of Duty's, like especially my, the original Modern Warfare 2, when they took the one hit kill melee out of the game as the default, and then you like had to like select a knife or a piece of equipment or something like that to get it back. One hit kill melees were a big pain in the ass, especially when they did like Commando Pro, where you could like literally lunge 50 feet and insta kill someone. <sighs> Nope, nope. I was already around that corner. Again, that's connection advantage, fast time to kill. Results in that shit over and over and over again. All of these things that were basically perfect in Modern Warfare 2019. That they just made worse. And again, a lot of that is because of the free-to-play Warzone and shit like that. Because there's that constant drive... Since Warzone's a slow time to kill Battle Royale. Because it's got like the armor plates. They've been releasing new weapons and stuff like that. And they're constantly trying to drive down the time to kill on that. Which is making multiplayer worse. So the push to support the free to play cash cow that is Warzone. Has literally made the pay to play portion. The Call of Duty multiplayer measurably worse. How the fuck do I not win that fight? Are you fucking kidding me with this? We're taking Charlie. Yeah, so, somewhat appropriately, the new Modern Warfare... What is my team even doing? What did, did I even have a... I literally didn't even have a team. Return to base. <laughs> literally didn't even have a team. 
Yeah, just, uh, appropriately like the original Modern Warfare 2, this Modern Warfare 2 managed to just fuck so much up in the pursuit of just adding things to the game that didn't need to be added that it just doesn't quite stack up to Modern Warfare 2019. Because of the more modern aspects to it, the gameplay, the gunplay, the way it just feels, and it does have a lot less bullshit than the original Modern Warfare 2. One Man Army noob tubes, uh, the hacked lobbies and shit like that. Modern Warfare 2, number four on my list. Top five Call of Duties of all time. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you uh, got some, maybe you disagree. Where do you guys think that Modern Warfare 2 ranks uh, in your favorite Call of Duties? Uh, I will be doing number three next. And so I'll see you guys in that one.